Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. I love reading the book of Romans. Paul wrote it there in the city of Corinth, just maybe oh, eight weeks to ten weeks before he arrived in Jerusalem for his arrest and imprisonment and his whole life changed. And that's a great study when we get into the book of Acts to understand all of this in context. But I want us to look at verses 5 to 8 of chapter 8 today. It says, Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what the sinful nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind of the sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are controlled by the sinful nature cannot please God. Now I want us to look at two very simple thoughts today. Number one, your mindset, the focus of your mind determines your lifestyle. Now you can blame it on demons all you want, you can blame it on God all you want, but the bottom line is, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As I like the New Century translation, be careful what you think because your thoughts run your life. Now Paul looks at us and says, now listen, if you focus your mind, on the things of the sinful nature, you're, you're going to go do sin. If you, you focus your mind on the things of the Spirit, you're going to go live right. Now, y you and I have to learn that with the help of God and the help of the Holy Spirit in our life, wh where am I focusing my mind? If I will allow my mind to be controlled by the Spirit, to be focused by the Holy Spirit on good things, then my life will be full of life, and peace. But if I allow myself to, to focus my mind on the desires of the sinful nature, then there's nothing but death, separation. Separation of relationships, separation of my walk with God. I want to challenge you today. Get control of your mind. Don't just let your mind go where it wants to go. Learn to say, Holy Spirit, help me. Help me to focus my mind on the things of God. Help me to focus my mind on the things of the Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me control my mind. If you will learn this very simple principle, you're going to find that sin loses a lot of grip in your life.